So I'm back, and I've been really busy working uh, this past week. Uh, I've been working Wednesday through Sunday, with Monday and Tuesday off, which will probably be my permanent schedule. Uh, I've worked at uh, worked that schedule two weeks in a row. But, uh, what I've been told is that, uh, business, uh, really slows down in the fall and winter. Uh, 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 just, uh, a lot more people stay indoors in the winter. And, uh, and then also some businesses around us, they also slow down or just close for the winter. So there's less people around us and fewer people co- come in. So, uh, my, my hours might go down some actually actually pretty soon Uh, but yeah as long as I'm still working and also I've also been told that the store I'm working at uh, will be going through a remodel uh, during uh, fall or winter, a complete remodel. So the store will actually be closed and they'll send the the, uh, employees to other uh, stores while it's being remodeled. Uh, that will probably take, like, uh, about two months around there. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> uh, so, so during that time, I, I won't be able to walk to work. That's what I've been doing. Just, just walking and working takes me about 10 minutes. Uh, one way. Which, which is really great. I save on gas money. And, <coughs> and, uh, my job is, yeah, it's, it's fine. I mean, it's work. Uh, nothing really special about it. Uh, it's it's fine for right now. Not something I want to do for a long period of time. And and I'm a cashier, and uh, I also help stock the shelves uh, with new. Product. So, uh, I do a lot of talking to people. Uh, throughout the day, to the people I talk to, it's really sh- short. It's mostly just, hi, how are you? And, and uh, do you want, uh, anything else? And, and do you uh, have a discount card? Because my gas station uh, get has a, a special special club card that you can earn free stuff with. Ask them, ask every customer if they have one, and and then just uh, 
uh, tell them they're total and have a nice day. Which, it's nice. Same thing over and over. It, it, and that's fine for me. I mean, the other, my other co-workers, they'll talk more to the customers. Like, there's regulars that come in and and uh, they know them, know them, and they'll talk some more. But yeah, I I don't really talk any more than I have to, because <laughs> uh, I'm I'm just focused on doing my job, like like uh, making sure. I count uh, their change correctly and make sure their totals right because uh, uh, at the end of the, my shift I have to count up the money in the register and it, it tells me if, if I'm short or if I'm over uh, and by how much I have been off by a lot, but that's usually uh, when I do what's called safe drops, where if I get too much money in the cash register, or someone gives me a hundred dollar bill or a fifty dollar bill, then I'll take the dollar bills and uh, uh take them out of the register and then put them in the safe. And sometimes like I'll miscount and put more in the safe than what I tell the cash register or take out less than what I tell the cash register by mistake. And sometimes it's like I've, I've been over like by a hundred dollars or short by $50. Uh, just because I miscounted the safe drops. So, uh, I've been... So, I'm being more careful now. And counting the mo my money closely. And... And I've, I've been getting better at it. Uh, and I'm also focused on giving the customers a correct change because if I don't, then that will uh, affect my count and there's no way to get the money back if I give them too much. So I don't talk more than... Then uh, just the few questions, because I'm just focused on doing more than, or just focus on doing one thing at a time instead of talking to people and counting money. Because <laughs> uh, I've learned that I'm not that great as, at doing two things at once. <laughs> And, uh, like, like I said in my last video, I think, this is my first full-time job. Like, I'm working seven or eight hours a day for five days a week. And so, uh, it's a lot more responsibility and, and, uh, I'm, I'm still learning. Uh, still making some mistakes. But that, that's how I learn. And the people are still really nice. And let, letting me know exactly what needs to be done. And one downside to this job is that I'm always standing up. I don't get much opportunity to sit down. Uh, except like on on break 
or if uh, there's no customers in the store and I'm all caught up on other work then I can like uh, sit down on the counter or on the stool but just for a little bit but usually I'm standing for almost my whole shift so my feet have been hurting a lot. I actually went out and bought a uh, bought uh, uh, like comfort p pads for shoes. I I went out and bought some of those, and I think it helps for the most part. But it seems to like delay the pain, and my feet still start to hurt. Uh, at the end of the shift, but not as soon as, as if I weren't, as when I'm not wearing them. And there's this other downside to my job. Uh, it's that, uh, uh, that I'm busy working more days a week, so I don't always have time to uh, do to uh, do uh, like video shoots because uh, I actually uh, did did sign up with this one guy this local uh, local guy who uh, comes to these Idaho uh, filmmakers meetings that happen once a month. I sometimes go to those and there's this one guy who asked uh, if anyone could help him with this documentary he's working on. And I s did sign up to, to help him out, but uh, the shoot happened, uh, I guess, two weeks ago. Uh, it, it happened uh, the Friday and Saturday after I got back from uh, visiting family back east. And you know, I had already taken a week off from work right after I got hired. So I just couldn't ask them for two more days off or or just to switch just with someone for Friday and Saturday. Because I felt like that would be too much. Uh, like I was taking advantage of them. Uh, so I couldn't do that. That uh, uh, movie shoot. Which. Which I'm bummed out. Because. I actually want to do. I want my uh, career to be in media, not gas station cashier. Yeah. So, I mean, I get this job, but then I can't do work in the field that I want to. <laughs> so... So it's like, oh, come on. I've been trying to get a job for so long. And then once I do get a, a full-time job, then, then I can't do work that, that I went to college for. But I think now I'll be able to uh, get days off or or switch shifts with someone else so that I can 
uh, do jobs in, in media, like one day jobs. I think I can probably do that now. Just let them uh, know in advance. But, but I, I think enough time has gone by. Uh, so so I, I don't feel like I'm like I'm taking advantage of them or so they don't feel like I'm taking too much time off. But I'm just going to keep looking for more media jobs that I can do and keep working here at, at the gas station. Uh, I don't want to work there for a long time. I just want to wanna, uh, work there so I can be at least the financially stable uh, and then hopefully get a job in media arts uh, and, and then move on to that like in a, a couple of years uh, hopefully we'll just see how things turn out oh and, and one other thing uh, uh, I haven't been able to see my therapist uh, in uh, like a month because uh, I got this job uh, at almost the same time. He changed his work schedule so he works Wednesday through Saturday. And I work Wednesday through Sunday, so uh, we're working the same days, and now we we can't can't uh, uh, find the time to meet. So uh, I haven't seen him in like uh, I think over a month, which is a little frustrating because they're. There is a lot I, I want to talk to him about. But uh, hopefully I can find some time soon when business slows down. <laughs> it's just now this job seems to be taking up so much of my time. Which I guess is good because before I wasn't really doing anything, but, 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 uh, hopefully I can like find some time or make some time to do, uh, other stuff. Yeah. So that's it for this video, I guess. And, uh, and until next video.